box. All right. So as always, we have gremlins in the computers, but for once it's not in my computer. It was actually in Joe's computer, but we've got it working. We have video, we have sound. Nobody is touching their keyboard, so nothing is going to go <laughs> screwy tonight. But guys, welcome to Cozy Talks Live. For those of you who are watching the replay right now, uh, go ahead and throw replay into the comments section. I always like to go back, see who's watching the replay. If you have any questions and you're watching the replay, go ahead and put them in. I do go back and answer these questions. And guys, tonight's show with Click Medical we have a lot of information, a lot of information, and we're going to be answering as many of your questions as we possibly can tonight. So I see some folks jumping on board this evening. Don't be shy. Let me know who you are, where you're from, and more importantly, what is in your mug? Joe, where's your mug? Yeah. Um, I don't have it currently, but um, sorry. So, so our behind the scenes gal, Jen, I'm going to give her a shout out. She has her Cozy Talks mug. So Joe, you, you got to, you got to, you know, for the next yes. one, right? Next one, but I do love the sign. I do love the sign that you've got. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. All right, we got Brian Bishop. We got Liz Shea. We've got Alberis. Hola, como estas Alberis? Bienvenido. All right, guys, we got a nice crew. But oh, Brian with his bustelo. Brian, I'm doing an impromptu giveaway at the beginning of the show, and I think this is going to be up your alley. And that's all I'm going to tell you right now. It's a little impromptu uh, giveaway I'll be doing. Actually, we're doing a lot of giveaways tonight, guys. So uh, stick around, have your phones ready. Hey, compadre, thanks for joining us in from South Beach. All right, who else we got on board tonight, guys? All right, we got Brett Sykes here with no mug. Brett, and you got a cool kid mug. Where's your mug, man? We got Steven Jacksonville in the house with water. It's good for you, especially in Florida. We got Kevin on board. Mark S, no notifications, uh, but you found us. We got Andrea, our occupational therapist. Hey, Felicia, stick around, Felicia. There might be something here for you tonight. We got Chuck on board. Butch from Minnesota. Man, we got a lot of people going in. Good evening for the Tar Heels. Amen, Denise. Amen to that. All right. We got Harsh on board, Elizabeth Johnson. We got a nice crew. So guys, we're going to give you another few seconds to jump on board. Uh, today, as some of you noticed, I had some very exciting times over with the Lululemon photo shoot. I was chosen to be one of their store ambassadors. Had a lot of fun there today. So here's the impromptu giveaway, guys. I posted a reel on Instagram. And I was salsa dancing to a song that is typically not meant for salsa. So if you guys can name the song, you will get a Cozy Talks coffee mug. So those of you who are watching that show, you got to turn up the volume so you can hear it. If you can name the song, not just name the band, you got to name the song I was dancing to, I'm going to send you a Cozy Talks mug. All right, we got Susan coming in from Canada. All right, Joe. We're going to get started because we've got a nice uh, nice group on board. So I'm going to stop talking for a few moments. I'm going to let you introduce yourself from Click Medical, my sponsors, one of my sponsors for 2022, and Joe Mahan, the founder. So Joe, take it away. Yes, thank you. My name is Joe Mahan. I am the clinical prosthetist here at Click Medical and the inventor of the RevoFit adjustable socket system and then also the Revo Lock uh, system, which we'll be talking about today, which is our mechanical suspension system. Yes. And today, guys, we had, I mean, the past few days, we've been putting out a lot of information about the show tonight um, because we have a lot of good information coming out. Um, and so many of you wanted to have questions about the Revo Fit. So we're just going to give you a brief um, review about what the Revo Fit is. And then I want you guys to do your homework and go to my YouTube channel later on and watch the full video that we did with Joe back in February. Yeah. So, yeah, back yeah. in February about the Revo Fit. Uh, Mark S, you are correct. It is Symphony for the Level. I can't speak this evening. Symphony for the Devil. Sympathy. I'm reading it wrong, guys. Sympathy for the Devil by the Rolling Stones. And yes, you can salsa to that. All right. Uh, so between Mark and Steven, I'll be sending you guys a coffee mug. Um, all right, Brian, there you go. So guys, let's talk a little bit. Bob here is very comfortable in his Revo Fit socket. So a lot of you guys saw this socket in the promos that I was doing this week. And of course, many of you had questions as to why there were so many dials. I do want to say this is a demo socket. So that's why I have a lot of dials on here. But typically your Revo socket is going to have one dial, okay, for the most part. And there's a couple of different ways. So as you can see, it's a, meant to be an adjustable socket. So your prosthetist will build the socket and then order the Revo fit kit, okay? And in that kit, and correct me if I'm wrong, Joe, you got to keep me on task. Uh, they're going to receive lacing. They're going to receive a BOA or a click reel dial, right? That will be built into your socket. So that's something I, a point I always like to make. Your prosthetist is still 
fabricating your socket and they still have to be good at doing that, right? And then they're just building the adjustability into it with the Revo Fit kit. Make sense so far, guys? Am I good, Joe? Yes, exactly. Yep. Okay. Awesome. So there's three ways, right, that they can build the adjustability into the socket. You want to tell us a little bit about it, Joe? Yeah. So they're going to predetermine uh, kind of where they can adjust with your limb. So there's kind of three different ways we adjust panels, gaps, and hinging. So panels are very targeted, very precise uh, compression or expansion. And you can see in the socket there that Kosi's got, there's some panels. Um, and we can really target and, and get very specific about where we want to compress or lock onto the limb or where we want to open it. Um, we can also do what's called a, a gap closure or gap adjustability, and that's much larger and a little bit more global. So it's more circumferential. So it kind of wraps all around the limb, whereas the panels are more targeted. And then we have the hinge option as well. And that's typically for uh, hinging very similar to a panel, but one edge of the panel is connected to the frame. So that allows for donning and doffing and for suspension applications. That's typically when we use the hinge. Um, okay. But your prosthetist, uh, you know, customizes the adjustability to your specific needs. So to your body type and to your activity level and to all those factors that are uh, taken into consideration. Uh, and they'll kind of predetermine where the adjustability can happen. And then they install the kit and then the dial allows you to engage that adjustability or not. And that can be done on the fly when needed without having to remove the device. It's, it's pretty instant. Okay. So as you guys can see, I can loosen up the laces fairly easily. And then with the dial, you just click it and it starts to tighten up. Now I loosen it quite a bit, so I'm having to click it over. Okay. And it tightens it up and off you go. Um, another big question I saw in social media posts was how much can it accommodate? Um, so up to 10 ply, correct, Joe? Yeah, it really depends on the design, but people say between six and 10 ply, it can compensate for, you know, that amount of sock ply. Uh, mm -hmm. Some people, you know, depending on the design can go bigger if they need more, um, if they're in maybe dialysis or they're having massive fluctuations, there are ways to go bigger. Um, but for the most part, most people are within that six to 10 ply range. That's right. So I know I have a lot of patients here and viewers that have told me that they basically all they have to do is now wear their liner. They don't have to wear any socks, which is quite nice and convenient. Um, so we're getting a lot of comments in here. So I'm just going to pick out a couple here. Uh, hey, Ashley, and we've got Dulce from Ohio. Ashley says, I love my Revo socket. Can't wait to get back into my leg. All right. Let's see. Harsh, Kevin, pack of bones. Doug from St. Louis, uh, cut above the knee. Felicia says that she has the Revo panels. Uh, Brian says, I filled the survey on the email. Will they send me more information? I recently changed to torsion ankle and fit new, and this seems like this could be help helpful. Uh, let's see. And Brett is on his way to get the boa as well through hanger as well. So guys, that is the quick and lowdown on the Revo fit adjustable system guys. And I have a ton of information and videos on that on the YouTube channel. Okay. Um, but tonight's focus is going to be a little bit more on suspension systems. And the reason why I'm smiling is, is because for the past four years I've been doing this show, we really, I really haven't talked a lot about suspension systems. So a few weeks ago, we did a really nice intro with Ronnie Dixon from POA in Tennessee, and we did a really nice review of all the different kinds of suspension systems. And then tonight, we're going to be doing the same. Why? Because repetition is the mother of memory, right? And suspension systems can be a little confusing sometimes, okay? But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and announce our Revo Lock Quiz winner, um, so we posted out there for those of you who took the Revo Lock quiz, you got an, a raffle entry and the winner is going to get a three month supply of the liner wand, which is a really wonderful, wonderful, um, technique for keeping the hygiene of the inside of your liner. Okay. So our winner is going to be Dick Devers. So congratulations, Dick Devers. We're going to be emailing you information and getting your address so we can send that out to you. All right. So guys, let's move on. Um, suspension systems, right? So guys, those of you who are my smarty pants out there, what is the number one reason an amputee will not use their prosthesis? I need Jeopardy theme music right now, Joe. Do, 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 do. <laughs> guys, those of you who've been listening to my show, what is the number one reason documented in research that amputees will not use their prosthesis. Liz says painful. You're on the right path there. Yes. 
Um, the fit, yes. So it has to do with the socket. If the socket is not comfortable, if the socket is not fitting well, there's a greater chance that you will not be using your prosthesis. It makes sense, right? So when it comes to, yes, Joe, go ahead. I'm say also, if they can't get it on, that's a problem, right? Then they can't yes. use it. So yes. if they can't engage the suspension system, that's a problem. See, he did his homework tonight. He's his homework. He did his homework. So guys, two things that go into making a socket comfortable, the shape of the socket and suspension. And a lot of times those things are interlocked together right? And we've talked a lot about this on the show. We've talked a lot about the different facets, which include also communication with your prosthetist, communication with your physical therapist, so that you can continue to improve the fit of your socket. Okay. Fit is poor. Yeah. All of you guys, those, th these are the folks who've been watching my show for a long time now. There we go. Excellent. All right, guys. So what is the suspension system? Basically it, what suspends the socket onto your residual limb right? It's what grabs onto your residual limb, right? And the purpose is it just basically provides an interface. So it's a place so where the prosthetist can then attach the knee and the ankle. So far, so good, Joe? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so I like to name the basic systems, guys, because a lot of times we have names of different types of systems and we get them confused, but I just like to kind of name them by their function first to make it easy <clears throat> for them to understand. We have suction suspension. We have locking suspension. We have vacuum. We have anatomical suspension. And then we have belts, cuffs, and straps. And that kept their own category. Okay. So guys, if you know what kind of suspension system you have, put it into the comment section. And if you don't know what kind of suspension system you have, put that in the comment section as well. And don't be ashamed because let me tell you, those can be a little bit tricky and confusing, right? So let's talk a little bit about the suction systems. Those are the kind that where you have the sleeve that goes over the socket, right? And onto your thigh, especially for my below the knee uh, amputees. Um, some of you might have what's called that seal in ring, right? Where you got to spritz on the germy gel or the alcohol and you <laughs> stuff the limb into that socket, right? And very uh, traditional skin fit. Do you see any more skin fits? Have you seen those at all, Joe? Lately? Yeah, I really, I really like skin fit if, if yeah. the patients are stable and um, they don't have to wear a liner with the skin fit. So that's a nice benefit. Yep. Uh, so let's see, we've got whew, lots of answers. You guys know your stuff. Yay. Okay. So Harsh uses pin. Uh, let's see. Ashley uses suction. Brian uses pin. We got Dulce with suction, suction, pin locking, pin locking. We're seeing a pattern here. Locking pin. Um, Denise is saying, what's the difference between Revo fit and Revo lock? Do both work with suspension systems? That's a good question, Denise. So the Revo fit, okay, is the adjustability that's built into the socket. These things, the panels, right? The Revo lock is how it's attached to your limb. Did I say that gracefully enough, Joe? Perfect. Yeah, we're good. Yes. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I like to keep it simple because that's how I keep it in my brain. Uh, let's see. We've got so a lot. Oh, we have a lanyard. All right, Jim with his lanyard. All right. Then we have so those are the suction systems, right? Then we have the locking, and that's where the Revo lock. That's the classification the Revo lock falls into. These are the pin locks, the lanyards. There's even a magnet system out there, I think. Right. Mm, yep. And then moving on, we have vacuum. Uh, some people call it elevated vacuum. And you can have either mechanical or an electrical vacuum. Okay, and we talked a lot about it in the, pre in the previous shows, right? We have anatomical, and this is this is a little more old school. This is, I like this one as well. Uh, for my below the knee amputees, if your you know your socket goes over your knee a little bit, it's basically grabbing on to your thigh bone. There we go. Oh, he's got it right there. Yay! I have all above knee sockets. I don't have any below the knee sockets. <laughs> And it kind of just grabs onto your thigh bone, the lower part of your thigh bone. That's an anatomical suspension. It's using your anatomy to suspend your socket, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have belts and cuffs and straps, which I always like to show off this guy. So this is the Ooh. one I got. Isn't that cool? I know. Wow. Isn't that incredible? Did I show, have I yeah. shown you this one yet, Joe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I did show you this one. So this one was from my trip to the Range of Motion Project in Guatemala. Right. So that is the classic belt suspension system, right? This, this whole prosthesis was held on by this leather strap right here. Yeah. Are you guys with me so far? Uh, let's see. We've got comments just flying in guys and guys, if I miss your comment or your question, 
please feel free to repost it. And if I still miss it, I promise you we're going to go back after the show is over to get everyone's question. Uh, Donna says she's got a pin lock, but going to suction next week. Uh, Felicia says, I don't know what mine is. That's okay. It's a mechanism on the side for height reasons. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Mully strap, Vikram said. Oh, he called it a mully strap. Okay. Uh, Steven says, I find myself tracked to the magnetic system. So, all right. So we've got the different systems, guys. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about the star of the show tonight, the Revo lock. So Joe, this is where I go. Shh, and I'm going to let you talk a little bit about the Revo lock. Okay. So the Revo lock is a mechanical lock. Um, so just like a pin lock or other mechanical type systems. Um, our system uh, gets integrated into the device, so it's built in, um, and it has a little threaded insert here uh, that you attach. You have your liner and your uh, attachment piece there. Um, you thread this on. It's going to stand. This gets threaded on, and then you have your dial mounted here. This dial can be mounted anywhere on the system, so if you you know need it somewhere else, you can place it elsewhere. And then you simply turn the dial and it pulls your limb into position, just like that. Very simple, okay. very straightforward, very mechanical. Yep, and then guys, just so you can see the one in the above the knee socket, so I don't have a liner with me. Um, the same little mechanism that Joe showed you right there. And I've got my dial here, got a couple dials actually, right, screw it in. Yep. And it's in, yep. Yeah, and it is. yeah, the difference between this mechanical lock and the others is it, it pulls the system into position rather than kind of stuffing in from stuffing. the Stuffing, yes. Yeah. Yes. And we'll get into so that more later. Yes. Okay. I was going to say, how many of you guys have to stuff, feel like you're stuffing your residual limb, like a sausage casing into your socket every, every morning when you wake up? How many of you, hey, Tom, what's going on? Um, okay. So it works. Now, does this work with all liners? Yes, it works with all locking liners. Okay. Um, it works with pediatric or adult, upper limb or lower limb, uh, any of the manufacturer. They're all they're all standardized, so they work with with any with any uh, uh, liner system. Okay, sounds good. And then I know with the Revo Fit with the adjustable kit, a prosthetist can build it into the check socket to trial it out. Can the same be done with the Revo Lock? Yeah, the, the, the process can use the same uh, kit that they use in the test socket, or maybe it's a preparatory, something you're going to take for a couple of days. Uh, yep. They can use the same system uh, in the in those devices, the plastic devices, as the definitive uh, laminated devices as well. Okay. So, it can so be guys, used and, and this is what I really like about the adjustability and everything that Click Medical provides is you can test it out, guys. Okay. Um, you know, unfortunately, we don't have a solution that fits for every single amputee living in this world right now. So um, it's nice to have the ability to trial things out before you make that final decision. Yes. Okay. Ooh, we got questions rolling in. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Uh, Julie says, interesting, tried pin lock, didn't work for me, always seemed to be a half click away from a good fit and had to bail on it. Yes. And, and guys, you know, I've had a lot of patients with pin lock. Some of them are successful, but I will say a lot of the frustrations I see with people with pin lock, it's not once they're in the socket, it's the getting into the socket that they have a problem with, you know, aiming for that hole. Um, if they're not, you know, if, if their limb volume is, is puffy in the morning, right, they can't get into the pin lock and they spend a lot of time getting in there, getting stuck in the pin lock, especially if a sock gets caught in the little device right there. That's always good time trying to get that out. Um, so these are just some of the things that I've heard from my patients and from you, my viewers, um, over the years. Uh, let's see. Vikram says it also takes away the hassle of aligning the pathetic pin exactly the same way every time in the frustration involved. Yes, exactly. Um, Steven is asking, how is the durability on the string of the boa and the Revo lock, the lacing I'm assuming he's talking about? Yeah, the, the lace itself is a 300 pound spectra. So it's a very strong, soft lace, much stronger than any kind of wire or anything else that you could use. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very, very strong, very durable, um, and it can uh, withstand uh, quite a bit of abuse and it's completely waterproof and, and, and water resistant as well. Okay. And then the following question from Brian says, if I have an existing socket, can it be built in? 
No, you can't put it into an existing device because it's got a different uh, distal attachment piece. Mm -hmm. um, and so that would, that would uh, not allow you to, to, to retro into something that's, that's already been made. Okay. But Brian, again, if you're looking at getting a new socket, again, I just want to reiterate, you can do it and you can trial it in the check socket first. So big bonus yeah. there. Uh, Mark, you're saying advantages of RicoFit. I'm assuming you're saying advantages of the RevoFit. Can you clarify your question, Mark? Um, let's see. Jim asks, what would you recommend for those of us with short legs and build height issues? Do you mean with respect to suspension system, Jim? Can you clarify that just a little bit for me? Hey, Captain, what's going on? Um, all right. Sorry, guys. I just want to make sure I kind of scroll through everything before we go on to the next part. Um, so, guys, actually, we've got our next giveaway. Uh, we're going to pick out three winners for this one, and they are going to get the Click Medical Yeti mug, which is really, really, really nice. So cheers to Click Medical. Um, so guys, for the next 10 minutes, we're going to leave this, this uh, giveaway open for the next 10 minutes. Go to Instagram, follow Click Medical, and Jen is going to type in the handle. It's really easy. It's at Click Medical. Uh, follow Click Medical, follow Cozy Talks, and we will pick three winners from the people who follow us um, to win these click medical mugs. All right. So moving on. So tell us why, why the Revo lock? How did you, what, what was the inspiration behind it? Sure. Go for it. Okay. Um, the Revo, the, the main thing for me as a clinician is safety. So that was the main reason why I came up with this system. Um, having the ability to put their prosthesis on in the seated position, um, is, is a great thing to be able to do. Um, it's a very safe way to put your leg on. A lot of mechanical locks, uh, like you said earlier, if they're maybe swollen in the morning or a little puffy or they retain some water, mm -hmm. mechanical locks require you to, you know, get the pin fully seated into the socket to engage the, the distal lock mechanism. So if you can't yep. quite get in there, typically people have to stand up um, to get that, you know, to get full weight bearing to, pr to push the pin down. Or oftentimes they sit there and they'll stomp their foot trying to get the pin engaged or at least get one yeah. little, you know, little uh, half tip click, of the in pin, there half click <laughs> engaged. Yeah. Um, I, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like patients having to stomp their leg because that can, um, they can create some shear force issues uh, yep. and some soft, soft tissue damage, especially if they don't have great feeling. Mm -hmm. um, and, and oftentimes, you know, when they're, when they're stomping, if the pin is not, you know, directly on top of the hole for the pin lock, uh, mm -hmm. you're, you're getting resistance. Um, so we don't we don't like that. Um, so safety was the the, the main reason uh, for um, the the invention of of this type of, of system. Um, it's also you know I have had frustrations with patients that had kind of bulbous or, or large distal yes. ends of their limb. Maybe this recent amputation, or they just have fluid that collects at the bottom part of their limb, and maybe the yeah. top part is a little bit smaller. Um, mm -hmm. Those people mm -hmm. often struggle getting their leg on in the morning. Um, and, uh, you know, they have to, people have to start their day they got to get going. So, you know, with those patients, they'd get, you know, maybe they could get it on halfway or three quarters of the way and they got to get moving. Um, and, uh, that was always very nerve wracking for me. Um, with our system, it's, it's, it's on a lace. So you can, you know, I prefer everyone to be fully seated in their lot and their leg before they start. I know that's not true. I know some people are three quarters of the way on, but they got to get going. But our system allows you to be three quarters of the way on and still have it fully suspended. It's not going to come off. And then as you shrink, you know, over the next couple of minutes of walking, you can slowly pull yourself and fully seat it and fully get into the socket. So safety, uh, having the ability to kind of have an adjustable suspension, basically, uh, where, you know, depending on where you are uh, volume wise, uh, those are the main reasons why uh, we came up with the the Revo lock system and also to eliminate a lot of frustrations that are out there. Okay. So do any of you have any of you presented with any of these issues that Joe was talking about right now? The stomping, I call it the amputee hop, just trying to get into the, into the socket first thing. Um, the fact that some of you have to just get going in your mornings. Uh, Jim says, I have a long residual and very short length below where the knee was. Pin system seems to take up room. I don't have, and I have pouchy issues in the morning with vacuum punchy <laughs> we'll, we'll try to guess basically you have issues in the morning with the vacuum uh, um one thing i'll note on that yeah. comment um our the distal housing is is only uh two and a half centimeters so it's only one inch long 
which compared to most other locking systems or, or anything, you know, uh, kiss systems or, or, or strapping systems, uh -huh. uh, we're, we're definitely on the short side. So if you do have a limb length discrepancy where you've got, you don't have much room uh, to squeeze in a suspension system, this is a nice option because of the, the low build height of it. Okay. All right. So actually we're going to, we just got in our Instagram winner. So those of you who were already following, yes, you got your raffle entry in there. So don't worry about that. Yes. Um, so our three winners for this evening for the Instagram is Felicia, uh, Clarence and Johnny V. So guys, we'll be contacting you through your Instagram handles. Okay. So just keep an eye on your Instagram messages and we'll get your information for your address and cheers ahead to you for your click medical Yeti mug. These are really, really nice guys. Um, so thank you. Click medical for that. Uh, let's see. Steven says, yep. My suction doesn't like to seal with a seal in liner we had. And I remember guys, when we did the show a few weeks back on suspension systems with the seal in liners, you know, it presents with their frustrations as well. Um, and again, guys, when, when it comes to picking out a suspension system, like everything else in prosthetic world, right? You got to pick what works for you, what works for your, uh, style of life. What is, what are the demands, um, in your life, right? Uh, what are the activities that you need to do? What are the things that you need to be able to speed through and what things do you have more time for? And then kind of look at the different products available to see what fits you the best, right? If anything we're seeing here in the comments section is everyone is different, right? <laughs> Some of you are just like, yay, pin lock. Some of you are just like, boo to the pin lock. So <laughs> It's really about having these conversations with your clinicians and 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 asking all of these wonderful questions to see what's going to work for you. All right, yeah. so we got Felicia there, Johnny V, and everybody's excited about these winning. All right. Yeah, that's so important to to have that conversation with your uh, care provider and and tell them you know how your what your lifestyle is like, what you need. Do a little bit of research. You know, be your own advocate and um, and go in with some questions. Um, and because you know the suspension system can make or break uh, a socket. It's not always just about the fit. So just keep that in mind. Yep. And I have to say it was, it was kind of a funny story. Um, when I was at the romp clinic, you know, and, and, and I forget that sometimes because I'm not an amputee myself and I don't have this experience. Um, but the fear of the leg coming off, you know, that was one of the big fears of some of the, the folks using their legs the first time. And I had to show them how to kick their legs so they, that it wouldn't kick off. Um, so definitely security and what you mentioned, Joe, the safety, um, yeah. of using the prosthesis. Yes. So you guys have, are asking really wonderful. Uh, socket and how that's a little bit different from some of the other suspension systems out there like lanyard. Sorry, you, you cut out for a second. I didn't hear the last 30 seconds. So I don't know if you have a question I'm for me. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Okay. Um, so, you know, we have a couple of other locking systems out there. We mm -hmm. have things like the lanyard and the pin as we were talking about and strap yeah. systems. So mm -hmm. how is this just even more different? What, what differentiates the Revo lock from something like a, a traditional lanyard? Uh, like the, the, the main difference would be that all the lace lives within the, 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 the dial. So traditional lanyards, you have to pull the lace out and then you have to do something with the lace. You know, you have to wad it up and put it in your sock or put it somewhere and, and hide it. In this system, all the lace lives within uh, the spool. So it's all concealed, all hidden. Um, the other traditional lanyard systems or, or straps require you to grab the lace or the strap and pull on it. Um, some people don't have great dexterity. They don't have very strong hands. Um, yeah. But if you can turn the dial, you can create about 100 pounds of line tension, which really gives you a lot of pull strength, okay? Mm -hmm. um, some of the other differences is that you, uh, the dial can live anywhere on the device, so you don't have to bend over and get go down distally uh, if you have maybe a range of motion issue or a spinal cord issue where you can't get down to the bottom of the socket. That's a nice thing. And one of the other great features of our lanyard system compared to other lanyards is that we have these little black O-rings around the insert so uh -huh. that eliminates any kind of airflow that happens as you're walking. So one of the big complaints about lanyards and straps is as they're walking, air just gets expelled and whooshes kind of out of the socket. Ah. So it's kind of coming and going in and out of the socket, which yep. creates a lot of noise. And sometimes it can even be like kind of a like a farting sound almost, which is can be quite um, annoying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, this system, when... Uh, 
when engaged and, and when the O-rings are engaged with the housing eliminates any kind of airflow. So that's that's a nice uh, option. Uh, that's a nice alternative to, to the existing uh, technology. Pistoning. Okay. So Brett, uh, do you have a question about pistoning or you want to clarify that one for me a little bit more? Um, and while he's doing that, we are going to announce, sorry. Yeah. Liz is like, yeah, not fun. <laughs> Julie said it. She goes leg farts. Yep. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I had a patient once that, it, the, you know, he just had, he had a great sense of humor and he was blaming other patients in the clinic whenever his leg would toot. <laughs> All right. Uh, David asks, is there any other locking mechanism other than the lanyard? Um, so yes. So David, if you're thinking about other different suspension systems, um, the main ones, and tell me if I'm missing anything, Joe, we have the repo lock, right? Which we're talking about tonight. We have the pin lock and that's the one that has like the big long pin that looks like a screw going into the bottom, the lanyard. And that's like a strap that is pulled through the socket and it usually Velcros outside in the outside part of the socket. Did I miss anything? No, nope, that's it. There's a, and there's yeah. a clutch lock, which, which is very, basically a, a, a pin lock, but allows, it allows you to turn the, the clutch mechanism and actually draws you down in once it's, once okay. it's engaged. So, but uh, you hit them all. Yeah. I got them all. All right. Yep. Um, oh, J Brett was just saying that it sounded like pistoning the air whooshing in and yes. Yeah. Yeah. That means that pissing is first of all, the click medical website, lots of great information there. I always encourage people to go in there, read what they have. They have a couple of research studies there, which have been pretty interesting. I was re catching up on those today myself. Um, and a couple of videos to go with those research study, which is really anyways, go to <laughs> the provider directory here on click medical and by state, it will tell you who are providers, the prosthetic providers that have the research. Revo lock or Revo fit system. Okay. And that they offer this at their clinics. So y'all know where I'm leading with this, right? There's a giveaway involved with this one. All right. So for this giveaway, guys, we're going to sweeten the pot just a little bit with this one. With this giveaway, we're going to be doing the three mugs, right? Three winners, three mugs. And I'm going to throw in for one. Actually, how many do we want to do? Let's do three. Three annual. Cozy Talks Strong Body Subscriptions, right? Is that a drop mic moment? Can I do a drop mic? Drop mic moment for that one. Okay. So guys, go to the provider directory, go to your state and tell me the name of any clinic in your area that provides the Revo systems. Okay. Three lucky winners are going to win the Click Medical Mug and an annual subscription to my Cozy Talk Strong Body program. Yes. All right. Let's get back to these. Mark is asking, do you need a sleeve with the Revo lock? A suspension sleeve? No, the knee no. sleeve is not required. No, this is a mechanical lock that attaches to the end of your liner. So you don't, that does not require a knee sleeve. There you go. And sorry guys, if I'm freezing this evening, as I said, our internet always likes to, I've, I've come to the realization it's high traffic volume, which is great because it means a lot of you are watching, but then sometimes it means the internet kind of glitches every once in a while. Um, sorry, I'm trying to uh, decipher here David's question. He says, no, I mean on the leg he has, is the lanyard the only locking mechanism? Yes, yes. yeah, that's the only yes. thing that, that attaches the socket to the body. So actually, Correct. do you want to demonstrate again, Joe, for some people who may have jumped yeah. into the show after you demonstrate it? So guys, Joe's going sure. to demonstrate one more time how this system works. So uh, you will roll your liner on like a traditional, in the traditional way. Um, the one thing about our system is that you don't have to necessarily get the liner on the exact same way every time. So if range of motion or, or you've got a spinal cord issue where you can't bend over and get the liner on exactly the same way every single time, not a problem, okay? Because what we do is we attach uh, the liner to the lace and the dial uh, via this insert here, and this just threads on oh, like so, okay? And then essentially what you're gonna do is just turn the dial 
and you're going to pull the limb down into position. And again, this has got about 100 pounds of line pull, so it's got very strong. Pull your leg all the way down into the socket while seated without having to stand or without having to align the pin. So that's, that's the system uh, in short, yeah. There you go. Eric says, I think Ronnie, speaking of Ronnie, he's going to make the, make a revo for him. Good. Uh, let's see. Tom is say, Oh, good question. Tom. Uh, no, when you are clicking yourself into the revo fit, can you pull yourself in too far causing too tight of a fit? Uh, no. Cause when you, uh, when you make originally make the leg traditionally, when they cast you, they're going to elongate the limb a little bit. Um, which when they elongate your limb during the casting process, that helps reduce any kind of pistoning that may occur later down the road. Essentially what it does is it kind of puts the, the limb on stretch and puts the skin on stretch um, so that you don't get the kind of the up and down or the, the milking that kind of happens. Um, so uh, that uh, pistoning, um, you can eliminate the pistoning by elongating the limb. Um, was that the original question? Sorry. Let me just yes. scroll up here. No, no, no. You got it. You got it. You got it. And then uh, let's see, Bill, I went ahead and reposted the link. So guys, for the giveaway, go to the provider directory. Tell me who is a provider in your area that works with the Revo Fit or Revo Lock system. We've got three winners we're going to be picking out and the prize is really, really nice. All right, let's see. We've got Julie who's asking, is the bottom of the liner pretty rigid? No. <laughs> nice and soft. Yeah, there is a, a bit of a, a umbrella, a bit. which is, right. is kind of traditional for a lot of liners. Um, mm -hmm. But the, the, the end itself is soft. It's soft gel. Um, and then you have a little umbrella here that's attached to the insert um, that has a little bit of material. So that does make it a little bit more stiff at the very, very bottom, uh, mm -hmm. but not wrapping up the sides at all. Okay. All right, we got a lot of you guys putting in, so we're gonna wait to see who the three winners are. I know Jen's gonna send me that information. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of people who do these <laughs> Revo Fit and Revo Lock systems. This is wonderful. So let's just go through just some of the, the I, I call them the housekeeping questions. These are questions I get a lot from folks, um, usually after the show is done. So I was like, let me, let me just go ahead and front them here. Weight limits, any patient weight limit for this particular suspension system? Uh, there's no there's no weight limit for this system because it's it's just suspending the weight of your uh, prosthetic device. Um, it's not really suspending the weight of the user um, unless they're hanging by their feet for some odd reason. Um, there is no weight limit. Uh, the The lace itself is a 300 pound spectra. So if you're over the 300 pounds and you are hanging from your ankles frequently, this may not be the system for you. Um, but that's a pretty rare occasion, I think. So basically if your name is Bruce Wayne and you dress up as a bat, probably not the way to go. Okay. Right. Exactly. All right. Okay. So let's see. Denise is asking, is this, is that a traditional pin lock liner without the pin or is it a specialized liner? Nope. It's just a normal locking liner is what they're called. They're not called pin lock or lanyard liners. They're just locking liners. Um, and our system can be used with uh, adult or pediatric locking liners. It can also be used with upper limb or lower limb locking liners. So any, any locking liner that exists uh, out there, they're all standard uh, threads at the bottom. And so we just matched up with those standardized threads. And, and so it's a very universal system. Okay. Um, and then Susan, and we're getting this question a lot, so we're going to answer, answer this question again. So you dial it up to press against your leg, but when do you know when to stop turning the dial? Uh, when you're fully seated inside the, in the socket. So you'll, you'll be able to feel the tension on the dial as you, as you sink and, and creep down into the leg. Um, it, you, you create, a, you can feel the tension on the dial. And then uh, you'll know once you're fully seated, you should know if you have, you know, sensation or feeling. If you don't have sensation or feeling at the distal end of your liner uh, mm -hmm. and, you, and you, you can't feel if you're in there all the way, then the, the dial, you're just going to uh, have so much resistance that you'll just stop turning the dial. Um, there's just no place for that thing to go. So eventually you'll just stop. Okay. So hopefully that answers your question, Susan. So we're going to veer off just a little bit because I don't get to often discuss this part um, on my show too much. Um, have you been using the system on upper extremity on arm amputees? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It works great for arm amputees. Again, sometimes those are bulbous or they have 
you know, distal tissue that's difficult to get on. Um, so we use them uh, for upper limb as well. And for upper limb, you know, the, the build height, the very short build height that comes with the Revo lock is, is kind of a nice um, uh, um, uh, factor uh, in terms of, you know, uh, which one you're going to pick out for uh, uh, your uh, patient. Because um, oftentimes limb length, uh, for some reason, upper limb, limb length can be a concern. So uh, this is definitely on the shorter side of, of locking suspension units. And also the size of it, the, the distal housing, as you can see, is quite small. So it mm -hmm. fits really in line well with the shape of most arms. Um, and it just kind of flows with the, the same kind of shape. Okay. And let's see, we've got Paula asking, is it adjustable for shrinkage or do you still need a new socket? Um, well, the, the socket itself, this does, the suspension system doesn't really do have anything to do with how the socket is fitting necessarily. <clears throat> that would, you know, if you wanted a socket that was adjustable that you could, uh, you know, um, uh, adjust for different volumes, that would be the Revo fit. This is the Revo lock, which is the suspension system. There is some adjustability built into it and the fact that you could, maybe you're so swollen that you can only get the leg on halfway and, and you can still suspend the leg halfway. And this gives you the ability to then adjust and slowly pull yourself into position as you shrink and sink throughout the day. So there is some adjustability built into the, the Revo lock as well. Okay. So guys, I'm just going to reiterate that again. Again, repetition is the mother of memory. The Revo fit is the adjustability. So that's the panels that you're seeing here, uh, the gap design. And yes, I have a demo socket. So I have a lot of stuff going on on this one socket to be able to demonstrate everything. So this is how you basically loosen or tighten the socket, right? As your day goes along versus the Revo lock. Okay. That's how the socket is pulled on to your residual limb. That's how it's held on with the suspension system. Um, so yeah, I know. And, and again, guys, this is why I've been wanting to do these shows um, one after the other, because it is a little confusing sometimes as what are we talking about? What are you dealing with when it comes to the socket? Uh, let's see. Steven is saying, is the Revo lock airtight? Yes. Yes, when it has the O-rings like I showed you on the on the threaded insert. <clears throat> so when the threaded insert is fully engaged in the housing, it is completely airtight, which gives you the ability to uh, also, or in conjunction, you could also use a suction uh, system as well. So it does allow for suction and lanyard Revo lock system to be in the same uh, socket. So uh, that's based off of design um, I don't want to get too deep in the woods there, but th just okay. so you know that you can use, it is airtight and you can use the Revo lock uh, with some uh, suction systems as well. And then earlier, somebody had asked about, will it work with a vacuum system? Yes, it also works with the vacuum system. Again, it's very design specific, so it may not work with every type of design that's used for elevated vacuum. But for most of the common designs, you can uh, incorporate the Revo lock and elevated vacuum if for some reason you, you needed both systems. Okay. Um, Butch asks a great question. He says, being that I'm bilateral, would you recommend both legs having this? Um, you know, I would think yes. Um, I don't know why you would choose one over the other. Maybe if you have like one one leg has a, has a different shape or size or different contours, you may have struggle with one more than the other. Um, but I would, I would suggest, um, using the same suspension systems for both sides, as long as there's not any outlier uh, uh, reasons as to why you should choose one over the other. Okay. Um, Denise says, okay, and Denise will re-explain this. She says, so it's either Revo fit or Revo lock. Very confused, sorry. Don't apologize, Denise. It, it takes a little time to kind of, to go through this. So let me just go through it. I'm gonna go through it however many times I need to, so you understand, not a problem. So with the Revo fit, okay, Denise, think about it this way. Um, when you wear your socket, right, throughout your day, you have to take socks on and off, right, as your limb shrinks or gets puffy throughout the day, okay? So with the Revo Fit, okay, instead of having to take your socket off, put socks on, okay, all you have to do with the Revo Fit is twist the dial and the panels will tighten, right? Or if you have a gap design, this will tighten. Okay. So just think of it as the tightening and loosening system, right? So it's going to help you as your limb volume presumably shrinks throughout the day. That's the Revo fit. Okay. The Revo lock, 
and I do have one in here. Sorry, I'm trying to angle this the right way. The Revo lock is how your leg is inserted and is attached into the socket. Okay, so the Revo lock is suspension. Revo fit is loosen or tighten once your limb is in there. I hope this right. helps. Yeah, the Revo fit is the adjustable socket, you know, socket adjustability, adjust the fit of the device. Or Revo lock is the suspension that locks it on and keeps it on your body. Does it, you know, allows it, doesn't allow it to come off. So yes. fit is, the fit is socket related. The lock is suspension related. There we go. And then Marianne says, can you have both the Revo fit and the lock in the same socket? Yes. 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 <laughs> of course. We made it so you could have both if, if that's uh, what your prosthetist is prescribing. Yes. And actually, here's a perfect example. You have the Revo fit and the Revo lock in the same socket <laughs> right here. Kevin says, this Revo fit sounds really <laughs> interesting with a fire emoji. It is. Um, and Kevin, there, you know, it, it, Full disclaimer, you know, there, this is not the only adjustable solution on the market out there, right? And as I always tell people, do your homework, right? If an adjustable socket is something that you're looking at, go out there and compare what we've given you tonight, the information we've given you tonight, use that as your standard and then compare the other adjustable systems out there to this and see what is it that's going to work best for you. Um, the reason why I've worked with Click Medical a lot this year is because I have a lot of success with my patients. And many of you as my viewers have come forward to tell me, hey, we've used the Revo uh, Fit in the past and we love it. Um, and also prosthetists, a lot of the prosthetists. So I have my, my secret go-to prosthetists um, that whenever a new product comes out on the market or whenever I hear about a new product, I always go to them and say, hey, what do you think about this one? <laughs> so uh, the prosthetists like using some of the ones that I like to talk to for what that's worth, guys, you know? All right, here we go. We've got... Yeah, so Eric says, RevoFit will work for me since I shrink up top all day. Mm-hmm. No, Denise, not at all. That's the whole point of this show is to ask these questions. And I can promise you, and I remember my, one of my professors in college saying this, he goes, for those of you who are asking their questions, there's 10 of you behind them that are too afraid to ask the question out loud. So guys, ask your questions. That's the whole point. Uh, let's see. Steven says, in the middle of building a socket with a pin and suction, so I'm going to ask about the Revo lock instead of a pin. Sounds right. Yes. So you're on the right track there, Stephen. And again, guys, if there's any follow-up questions that you have, I'm just going to take this opportunity now. Castle isn't sinking in or there's something. Am I freezing again? Uh-oh. Now You're I'm good. Okay. okay, I'm good. Sorry. Um, so if anything that tonight is just a little confusing or still isn't quite sinking in, guys, send me the email to that email, Kosi at CosiTalks.com. All right. So did I get all the questions? Oh, so Denise, Susan saying, I'm not sure I understand without touching it how it all comes together. Um, so guys, Revo Fit and Revo Lock, it, it's, it's out there a lot. So chances are um, there's a prosthetist clinic in your area that has one. So go ask them to see one. Um, they probably have a demo just like I do, um, hanging around. So yeah, I totally get it. I'm a visual learner myself. And once click medical sent me this, then I was like, oh, okay, I get it. I see how this works now. And it's really, really easy. It's really simple, elegant design. So how do I like it? All right. I'm trying to get through all these comments. Uh, let's see. Felicia says, just want to say the Revo fit helped me bring my leg home after multiple issues fitting with the test socket. Pretty good deal. And guys, with that, we have our winners. Um, so these guys are going to win big. Each one of these is going to get, each one of these winners will receive a Yeti Click Medical Mug, which is very nice. And they're also going to receive one year annual subscription to the Cozy Talk Strong Body Fitness Program. 150 plus exercises for above the knee and below the knee amputees, guys. So our winners tonight are Harsh, Denise, and Paula. See, Denise, it helps to ask a bunch of questions. It makes you a winner. So congratulations, guys. Uh, we are going to be contacting, reaching out to you to get your addresses and send out your goodies. So congratulations. Um, let's see. All right, guys. So I think we covered most, like pretty much all the questions. I'll be going back um, through all of that. So Joe, did we miss anything? 
I don't think so. I think we got pretty much everything. Yeah, a lot of information here. <laughs> yeah, a lot of great information. Just, yeah. Great job. Okay. Awesome. So guys, we covered a lot of information, um, but that's why God invented the replay. So if there's anything that you feel like you missed, please go back and rewatch this. Also, I really want to strongly encourage you to go to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Yes, I am shamelessly plugging away here, guys. Okay. I have more information on adjustable um, socket systems with Click Medical. We have all the links below of the previous shows. Okay. And also if you want to go back and watch the suspension show that we did with Ronnie Dixon a few weeks back, and that just gives you a better understanding guys. Um, so the fact that you're here tonight shows that you want to have a better understanding of what's going on with your body and the leg that you're living with every day. Um, so go watch these videos, get your learning on. All right, guys. So with that, we are going to close this show down. Um, I just want to send a very special thank you to the Click Medical team. Joe, thank you so much once again um, for your expertise and your patience with all the technical stuff. <laughs> to get no problem. No problem. Thank you. Thank um, you. And my behind the scenes gals who are making this happen, Jen and Jamie, you ladies are wonderful, amazing. And thank you so much for all the support and all the help that you do with helping promote the show and helping us get this information out there. Um, so guys, as thank you for letting us be a part of your lives this evening, we will be back next week. Same bat time, same bat channel, just not hanging from the dangles. That's all. All right. Bye guys.